Hello there. We are still um, in the duality dance, in the yin yang dance, and today we are going to uh, begin <clears throat> a neutrino week of values and ordering. So the sun soon enters into gate 50, the gate of values, and the, the earth we will stay in the gate of ordering, difficulties at the beginning. This is um, spleen and sacred gates, and um, we already have the global conditioning pattern still today for the next few hours. We have the, um, the channel of um, the channel of um, of power, a <laughs> design of an archetype. So we will feel uh, these two gates very strongly as they as they enter, and also later during the week we also will have global conditioning patterns that will help us feel this energy of the old and the new mixing together. So let's see what we have here. Gate 50, the cauldron, uh, the gate of values, a very, very um, tribal gate, the gate which is the source of all intelligence, all splenic intelligence, very, very interesting, deeply complicated uh, gate. Um, the value of historical continuity whose traditional values serve and enrich the present and the future. So we are talking about a part of the channel of the preservation. Of course, this is the channel that uh, is part of the defense circuit. We have the 59.6, the channel of intimacy that creates children. And then we have the channel of preservation that helps us um, has the energy to nurture and to educate and to give the to teach the 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 the, um, the kids yet to to teach this tribe this little family and tribe um, the values the laws and the values that are correct to to maintain the tribe and then create the of course the family the community and the tribe so this. Um, hexagram, the cauldron, where all these values are being cooked, and it's very traditional. It has this um, something very uh, conservative and traditional, and and deeply tribal in it. And of course, um, like every uh, uh, like every gate in the splenic center, it has a very primal and and um, survivor a fear. And the, the fear here is the fear of responsibility. And this is very interesting because people who really have in their design, in a defined spleen, they have this gate, they, they're the only people really that have a, a mechanic um, display of responsibility because we know that we are not responsible for anything. We are <laughs> helpless and incompetent. But as a mechanic, as, as a mechanic, attribute, mechanical attribute, uh, these people that have this defined have an innate responsibility in them, of course, according to the line and the whole definition and whole de the whole design, but they're the only ones who really have something to do with responsibility and also to carry the fear from responsibility. Because when you are respond responsible for something, then you also have the fear that it's all on your shoulders, yes, <laughs> this tribal education, this giving, the, creating the laws and the values um, <clears throat> of the tribe. This is a very strong, or keeping them, keeping the traditional values, the responsibility to educate this little tribe or big tribe depends on the design. So this is uh, very interesting. And of course, all those people who don't have this defined, um, and have, for example, the 27 that looks, <laughs> the, the gate of nourishment that looks at this gate of responsibility, then there could be uh, a, a deep um, conditioned uh, fear from of responsibility. Interesting to see. So this tribal ancient uh, gate of values 
um, is standing exactly opposite to the gate of, that brings the new, the, the gate of ordering that is part of the channel of mutation. And this gate is really, is, is this gate responsible for bringing the new. So this is so nice to see how this tribal sticky cauldron <laughs> has on the other side, the mirror of it is the, the most mutative gate in the whole body graph. And this third gate, difficulties at the beginning, the fundamental challenge of initiation is to transcend confusion and establish order. Now, why, does, why is it called difficulties at the beginning? This gate is part of the quarter of initiation and in, in, it's all about initiating the mind into new things and um, when, when a muta mutation comes, the difficulty of accepting this mutation is a mental difficulty. We need to initiate the mind. The mind needs to be initiated in order to accept mutation and really to transcend confusion that the new coming into the old is create creates confusion and this is a very confused energy this uh, the energy of the third gate it brings a lot of mutation it is a very very mutative gate so um, when this energy comes and especially if the whole channel is defined in the in the person or all those people who have the 60th gate this week is going to be a very interesting could hold the potential to mutation and could hold of course the potential for depression we are talking about uh, format gates so uh, if if we are not uh, if we if we don't accept the situation in the moment of not being mutated or being mutated <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we can be depressed, we can feel depression. Also people, it, this is my uh, seeing, the people that have uh, these gates, uh, the, 30, the, the, the third gate or the 60th gate or the whole channel, sometimes, uh, not all of them of course, but sometimes are people who are afraid of change because these are very mutative gates and, and especially the whole channel the whole channel or the third gate it's very very interesting to see how sometimes we are afraid of what we are because the not self really doesn't know what to do in this world without strategy and authority so this is the the beauty uh the, be the beauty of this uh opposition these two gates the way they they display themselves together is really bringing the new, the very, very mutative new into this sticky traditional values cauldron. So let's see how we are going to experience all this. Another thing that happens today is that Jupiter uh, in the 18th gate uh, moved to, to the sixth line, which is a beautiful line, Buddhahood. And it's, the line is uh, called or the the line the um, the, <laughs> the blue line is the perfected form, and uh, I think it's the blue line. I don't remember, but the name is the perfected form, and it's about being this eternal child that sees that things are not perfected and wants to perfect, but it it does it in a way that is already looking from from the roof from the hill and doesn't have the pressure so much to to correct it's just yes it corrects but easily and it doesn't take it that personal <laughs> personally so it's a very very beautiful line so the the correction and the criticism that we had will have a different uh, flavor um, Later today, too, um, uh, what happens is that Mercury leaves gate 57 that created for us this channel of um, the power and gets into the gate of duration, the gate of continuity, the fear of failure, 32nd gate. We just talked about it. It was in, this, in our sun. So we are going to talk about this. And, <laughs> and also uh, later... Um, Mars is going to enter 
the, the, the gate of ambition and together with, with Mercury, they are going to create for us the channel of transformation, a uh, design of being driven, and this is going to be a global conditioning pattern that would emphasize very much for us the feeling of the gate of values, yes, the, the cauldron, and gate 18, and of course, um, Pluto in, in the gate of the fighter. And all the others, of course, all the, all the other people that the transit connects to their design um, directly will feel whatever happens in this combination. In the 20th, um, the moon is going to enter to gate 15 and create for us with uh, Saturn, <laughs> the channel of the rhythm. I'm laughing because Saturn got to this uh, third line in the fifth gate, a compulsiveness in detriment, third line trial and error, being compu compulsive about the rhythms, very interesting. And, and this channel is going to form a global conditioning pattern with the channel of transformation. So we are going to feel the third gate strongly as a format energy and the 42nd gate, the gate of ending also, and the, the sacral, um, the, um, the gate um, that Venus sits in, of course, the 34th gate, the gate of might. So all of this is going to be very, very strong for us. And from there, the moon goes directly to, <laughs> to uh, gate, the gate of inaction, the 52nd gate in the, in the root. So again, there is a possibility for us to feel it very strongly because of the global conditioning pattern of the channel of transformation. From the 52nd gate, it's going to move, the moon moves in the, in the gates of the root, gate to gate, so now it would be uh, in the 21st of October um, from 7.35 GMT, GMT until 17.20. It's going to be, sorry, it's going to be in the channel, in, in the gate of the provocation, provocation um, that looks at the solar plexus and we are going to have two uh, Deaf, deafness gates, the 38 and the 39, the, the fighter and the provocateur, both of them are going to be uh, strongly uh, conditioned. So, <laughs> so we are going to be deaf, we're going to be driven, but deaf. And um, of course, with the third uh, gate in the earth, those who will feel it personally and also in a, in a in a global way, uh, these two, three, these three individual gates also have the potential to make us melancholic. Um, and then from the provocateur, this, the, the moon moves to the gate of beginnings, the 53rd gate, the gate of development, uh, and it informs the channel of maturation with Uranus in the gate of endings. So we are going to have a real huge definition <laughs> that almost all the activations of the transits, almost, except three, all of them are going to be together for a few hours and it's going to be very influential. So open people, people with a lot of openness, you are invited to watch what's, go what's happening and a lot of um, potential for depression, melancholy, um, and, and a lot of pressures from the wood. Interesting. And then in the 24th of October, uh, in 6, uh, 15 until 16.45 GMT, we are going to experience the channel of logic. No time, long time, no, no mental definition. So here we have a global conditioning pattern, a uh, mental one, all the others have gone. Uh, in the meantime, and we have this um, fourth gate, the gate of formalization, forms this uh, channel of logic. And of course, we'll feel also the confusion. So, so we are going to have doubt, form formulas, and confusion for 10 hours. And as the dessert of this week, really in the end, the last 
hours of or last minutes of gate 50 in the sun, we are going to uh, welcome back Pluto into the marrying maiden into the gate of ambition. Um, it's going to happen at 16 GMT in the 24th of October. And from now on, for a long time, I think something like two years, um, all these people that have the 32nd gate, beware, <laughs> beware, and also welcome Pluto because it's going to be very interesting. Of course, uh, we need to remember that if our if we have if we have the 32nd gate in an open screen and we have also an open root or even just an open screen or just an open root, this um, this channel is going to form in us um, a very um, steady conditioning and very it could be confusing and of course it could be also very rewarding if we live according to strategy and authority then these transits can really support our individual uh, process the way it should happen so all we need is really to remember how our design operates and and it, and welcome every lesson or support or empowerment that we get from the transits. So this week is going to be about the, the, the laws and values and wishes of the quarter of duality of the tribe, of the, of the, um, the way we nourish and educate our little tribe or our big tribe, depends on our design. And of course, we can see this um, two gates, the, the, how, how the new comes into the old and the old tries to cling to the tradition and to his laws and values, but the new brings wishes of something else. Um, this is really a reflection of what's happening in, our, in the global uh, cycles now. And of course, the tribes that uh, really cling to their tradition and clings to their laws and, and traditional values, but the new comes, it comes anyway, mutation comes and changes everything. So if we want to survive, um, not to survive, to flourish in this very chaotic time that begins, it already began, I mean, chaos is everywhere, and it's going to be more and more chaotic and also our relationship the whole way we talked about it a lot the whole way of the quarter of dualities energy is supported by the channel of um, of the bargain the channel of community that in this background frequency and this is breaking this is going it came to its end it's 10 years i mean 10 years is nothing it already the, the global cycle is already we feel the more the more we we are living correctly and the more we connect to the program in a way in an impersonal way that we watch it the more we can see that the change is really already happening and the this bargain this bargain relationship is already breaking down and shattering and inside the new duality and inside the new um, way that we are going to live in this very, very individual era that, that's entering, that we enter now, is all only by keeping our personal and individual laws, not the laws of the tribe. There's going to be no tribe. <laughs> we, are, we need to remember that only sticking very strongly to who we are and operate correctly will help us navigate in this chaos that's coming. And this chaos also happens in relationship. I can see it everywhere. So <laughs> we have our strategy which protects us and um, protects our, our differentiation, our individuality very strongly. And we have this beautiful navigator, inner GPS, this inner authority or decision-making process that really helps us in every decision, every decision, every correct decision brings us to back on our, or on our trajectory, um, empowers our connection with this inner authority, empowers our connection 
with who we are, with the true essence of who we are. Every decision, we really need to look at it as living from decision to decision. And every decision that we do correctly, that we, we actually um, surrender to our inner authority, we are getting more and more powerful. And of course, to wrap this up, we sleep alone in our own aura. We want to get up every morning fresh and, and more connected to be ourselves, to meet this new world that emerges every day from the beginning. We want to meet it as ourselves. So let us have a very interesting, mutative and valuable <laughs> week. <laughs> And let us see what's, what's this cauldron will cook for us. Bye-bye.